It was the depth of winter and life in the city was slow. The season was especially quiet for the wig maker on the Rue de la Boutte. He'd fallen asleep at his workbench, dreaming of a most amazing wig. Suddenly, his pleasant dream was interrupted by a knock at the door. The wig maker rose stiffly from his uncomfortable position. But before he could open the door, someone pushed a letter under it and quickly departed. The seal on the letter was from an aristocrat of the highest rank. The Comtesses, Marquises and Princesses, who were part of his regular clientele, never usually sent message boys out in the middle of a winter's night. The wig maker opened the letter and read the message carefully. The Marquise de la Forêt d'Or needed his help. She had received an unexpected invitation to the New Year's Eve ball at the Royal Palace and wanted desperately to impress His Royal Majesty with a wig of such extravagance that it would forever be remembered. With so little time, the wig maker decided his only hope was to ask his dear old wig master for help. A man renowned for his extravagantly crafted wigs, created of the finest quality and with astonishing speed. The wig maker wrote a letter to his former teacher and then waited in nervous anticipation for a return delivery. At dawn on the following day, a promising looking parcel arrived. Like an excited child, the wig maker could hardly wait to unpack the great master's creation. With skill, devotion and courage, the wig master had crafted a glorious work of art. And when the Marquise de la Forêt d'Or, in the wig maker's studio on the Rue de la Boutte, first placed this masterpiece on her noble head, the wig maker realized that his marvelous dream had in fact been a premonition. Even today, every lady of the court speaks in great admiration about this splendid, legendary wig with which the Marquise enchanted the nobility during the Royal New Year's Eve Ball.